Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. I uh, got the 6S Shreddy, the Pro Boat Recoil 2, out here at the park pond. I uh, got a Max Amps uh, 5450 6S pack in the boat, 120C discharge with a uh, Dynamite 120 and a 3650 six pole 2000 kv brushless in runner motor uh i basically uh upgraded the boat for 6s all right the boat comes 3 4s capable and it's plenty fast out the freaking box but uh you guys know me if you don't know me i kind of like going fast and i really i really like upgrading and modifying my rc boats okay Sarah, let's get it let's break Bash. Don't bash. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can get 60 knots and no smoke, all right? My best with it so far is 60, okay, with uh, the upgraded electronics. Nice. All right, let's get it. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I could tell a difference with my battery. It's it's I've got it like more centered in the boat. Uh, with the with the stock battery tray, it's kind of offset for the self rightening to help the boat self right. And uh, man, it's actually handled a lot better with the weight centralized on 6S with all this weight in it. It's a heavy boat right now, extremely heavy. All right, let's see what we can do here. Full trigger. Nice. Man, that's a lot better with the weight centralized. Man, that's night and day. Before she was a little erratic handling, you know, with the extra with the extra weight in the boat. Man, that's woo, woo, oh, 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 yeah. Oh, Max Amps, baby. Come on, come on. Let's get it. Full trigger. Oh, a little squirrely. Got an M440 on here. It's a good prop for the boat. Oh, she's a rocket, son. Let's uh, let's throw on an ABC prop. Why freaking not? Might tear something up. Full trigger. Full trigger. Damn. All right, so let's see if I can flip it. I got that weight right in the bottom of the boat. And, uh... Man, I don't think she's gonna flip very easy. You know, uh, I got the weight centralized and it's down low in the deep V to boat. So let's see what we did here. 6S Shreddy. Badass little boat, you guys. I really like this boat. Fun boat to upgrade. It was actually kind of an interesting upgrade. I had to do a few modifications to get that motor to work in the boat with the stock motor mount, but uh, it was actually a really fun project. All right, no smoke, that's a good thing. 57 here, we got 57, and I got a leak somewhere. So 57. Okay. Man, she's fast. Did a little strut position change, and she definitely don't like it. So I got a little little down angle on it, and uh, it's picking the whole boat up. So let's see what we could do here. Put a little up angle on there. Tighten it down. Yeah, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Clean, clean, I meant to do that. It didn't flip. Let's see if our battery's still in position. Let's see if our battery's still in position after that. Stayed in place, okay, it didn't move at all. 59, 59 on that run. All right, let's see what she'll do here. 
let's see what she'll do. All right, so 59. All right, we'll let it cool down. We're gonna get a good pass in. Woo! Woo! Get over here. Oh, wow, look what, look what happened to the turn fin. Look at that. Bent the turn fin out in that crash. 59, 59 again. Oh, that was a bad crash. Oh, it landed it. That was awesome. Might have to do a strut position change. Yeah. All right, let's do a little strut position change here. So I got some, uh, I got neutral trim on the boat. Neutral. When it was going crazy, I had some positive trim. I actually, I got an ABC prop on here. It's probably too much for the boat. That's why it's flipping those few times. I put that M440 on and she'll be stable again. She's just got a big prop on here. Full trigger. Oh, that was clean. Oh, that was clean, man. All right. Wow, geez, that left turn fin's taking a beat. So let's see what we did there. Oh, 61. Come on. Come on. 61. Come back. Huh? <laughs> 61. Yes, sir, buddy. All right. Record. And we're gonna do a little bit more here. Why not? Why freaking not? I'll try to cut the video down so you guys aren't bored out your freaking minds. Big B don't know how to get too straight to the point. Don't know how to get straight to the point. change the battery out and uh, put the 440 back on this uh, 1616 is a little too big for the boat but we did get 61 with it and she's holding up that that velcro is holding in there good you guys see how the battery's like more centered in the boat before the battery was like way like way over here okay and um it was actually like causing the boat to like steer from the you know from the extra weight on the left side with this big battery so uh you know centralizing that battery with my setup not saying that you need to do this with the stock setup but with my setup it actually works pretty good do a little quick one with this uh fresh pack in here with the 1616 Golly, I love coming out here to the pond, man. Regardless if my boats are running good or not, man. I, I just love getting out here and running my freaking boats, boys. That's what I do. Or boys and girls. Uh, let's get it. Full trigger. No! No! Well, that's a durability test. Oh, we, I think we got lucky with that one. She kind of landed like soft. <laughs> All right, so our rudder kicked up. Our rudder kicked up here, and the boat's good. Man, this thing's ironclad, boys. I don't know if you guys seen that or not, but she's actually ironclad. Turn fin bent, but it's been doing that on this one, and uh, our rudder kicked up, so we'll have to do it, fix that. She's ironclad, nothing happened. Ironclad, son. Let's see what the speed was. Are you shitting me? 59. 59, that's not bad. All right, so uh, let's go get this thing fixed up here. Man, it took that hit. It took that hit. I beached her. I beached her, boys, and she took it. She took it, huh? <laughs> she took it, no crap. 
cracks, no chips, no breaks. She learned crack. Huh? <laughs> All right. Let's get this rudder back in. Uh, this rudder can be a little finicky at times. If it if it pops out, you may have to, um, you know, just back your screw off. You know, if this thing pops out, just back your screw off a little bit and push the rudder back in. It, it ain't no big deal. Like so. Boom. All right. Good to go. Good to go. Tighten her back up. So she kicks back up. <laughs> Boat don't run good until you wreck it. Oh, that was pretty, man. I can't stay on it long enough in here. I'm scared. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wreck it like I just did. Man, when she's up on plane, you know, man, she's she's on she's on the money. When she's up there, you know, 30, 40, 50 mile an hour, ain't nothing in the water but the prop, baby. And I like it. I like it. No! Again! 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 <laughs> oh boy, I better quit. I better quit. I better quit. You guys wonder why my boat's all busted up. That's why. Big B don't know when to quit. She's good. That's the second time I beached her. She looks good. She's tough. She's a tough hull. All right. I don't know how the hell I, I did that little nick right there in my hull, man. I don't know how that freaking happened. But uh, I, I think I better call it a day with this one, boys. Let's see what we did before we ran it up on the ground. <laughs> I got to read that more often. Boss, don't boss. <laughs> it's a friendly reminder for me not to freaking bash my boats. And Look at me. I'm freaking bashing the shit out of them. 58 58 all right so uh man she's a freaking rocket 61 boys 61 okay with the upgraded 6s and i gotta figure out where this leak's coming from because it wasn't leaking it hadn't been leaking up until like today so i may need to uh you know go through and, and put some silicone or adhesive on my hardware make sure all that's ironclad you know what i'm saying make sure all that's good to go uh I don't know where else it could be coming from unless I got a hose that's not fitting properly on the on my electronics right here which that very well could be the case I don't, oh yeah I took those zip ties off I need to put a zip tie back on there that's probably what it is I bet you money that's what it is yeah I bet you money that's what it is it's actually a freaking blast on 6s man it's um it's really stable with that 440 on. I've got a big freaking ABC prop on here. And, uh, oh, yeah, it's just too much for the boat. But damn if it ain't fun, boys, huh? <laughs> we'll see you next time. Big B with Ironclad RC.